Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, do to do to do. So what did I say I was gonna do? Oh yeah, Ammo tomorrow. Marry the girl. Kill her father. With the ebony blade. To make the ebony blade even stronger. Go finish that quest. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, I wonder if I can marry Serana. That'll be interesting to find out. Uh, I had an amulet of Mara. Huh. I had one, I just don't remember where... I don't know where it is now. I don't know where Lydia is either. She's just, oh, there she is. I kind of like Lydia, which is why I'm not killing her. I seriously considered it, though. <coughs> okay, so now that we're done with Dawn Guard and we're a fairly high level, um, and I don't have an amulet of Mara, we'll go and do some quests. Some important quests to make me an even stronger, more awesome, amazing character than I already currently am. Oh. One of these quests will be this. Septus Sigum's Outpost. We'll finish this quest. I've never actually done this quest before. Uh, equip the ebony blade because when I kill him, I bet you, I'm betting you, ow, that I'm gonna have to. Okay, you make that mixture. You're gonna mix it on Serana? I'm okay with the dark. Let's get more than my shell tired and feel something. So what are you gonna do, buddy? What are you doing? Why are we walking around in circles around the pretty vampire lady? Interesting. I've never actually done this quest before. So... What is this? It's... it's just a book. I can... Aww. I wanted to kill him. That's... that's it. After your book. Now, you have my Agamon Infinium. It contains the knowledge of the ages as revealed to Sarsis, my loyal servant. So what now? For hundreds of years, it's been shut away from the world. Septimus was a useful tool for all. Okay. Now, it is in your hands. Let us work wonders together. Now, what? Now what do I do with it?
I see, that's what it does. It levels up all of my, uh, I see. Is there anything else? And it's removed. Interesting. Well, neat. I now have... Wow, two levels from that. Neat old. Well, I'll put a point in that. I need that. I need 70. Okay. Walk. Has some stuff. Bashing is five times more damage. I don't really care about bashing that much. One-handed, mm, not enough yet. Okay. I will do that, however. So now between now between the Dawnbreaker or not the Dawnbreaker, the Spell Blocker Shield and the perk I just got. I now have even, I now have, like, complete immunization to magic from that shield. first into that on accident. Let's see, what do I have now? Um, let's see if this will pop up on my map anywhere and hit. Does the beacon? The beacon does not show up anywhere. Well, we'll leave that on in case it, something shows up. Um, and we'll visit the Shrine of Azura next. That will be our next objective, is visiting the Shrine of Azura. That sounds like a good plan to me. Go into the Hall of the Elements, then to the library, sell some stuff to New York, get me there. Ugh. Thanks. Go to the Arcadium. And I need to get 30 so I can get that, um, 30 or 32, I can't remember which one, so that I can get the, uh, the ebony plate mail. It's a very powerful artifact, that is. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pretty well, well. I haven't seen one of these beauties in a long... You're damn right I'm interested. Question. Well, considering no one else in Skyrim would buy something they couldn't possibly read. Tell you what. You bring me books like this, and I'll pay a thousand gold each. I'll even throw in a translated edition. Deal. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you need a book? You talk to me. Otherwise, you're going to... I have a few things laying around that work. If you're feeling adventurous, I'm all... Well, all right, here. I scribbled it as a matter of immensely beholden. Since then, his work... I've heard whispers of more of his work having turned up. If you okay. can track it down, it may prove. Let's read those. Worthless. Worthless. 
Oh, I really hope this doesn't do something bad. <laughs> that probably wasn't good. Um, I don't think I can sell the Elder Scrolls to him yet. Not until I complete the uh, main campaign. Yeah, I don't think I can sell it to him yet. So, what am I doing now? What? Okay. Azure Star. That's right. Okay. Summon the dragon here. Oh god. Oh god, it's burying me. Oh god, it's burying me. Oh god, it's burying. It is burning me. It is burning me with ice. Man, those mages are fucking it up. It has to land now. Uh, so here, let me show you why the Ebony Blade is so powerful. Um, you couldn't really see it in my the last time I used it because of how I because of yeah. But as you see, it heals you, and and it has unlimited uses. That's why it's the most powerful weapon in the freaking game because it has unlimited magic uses and it drains life from your enemies. That's ridiculous. And I'm taking the dragon bones now because I'm trying to make some dragon bone weapons. Or I'm going to try and make some dragon bone weapons much, much, much later in the game. And dragon soul. Shout some. It's nothing I really want to put that shout in. So. We'll just go over here to my little chamber in the Hall of Attainment. Yeah, that's why the two-handed, that's why the Ebony Blade is so effing powerful, because of how fast it strikes. Fast, it strikes a lot faster than a, than um, a regular, than a regular two-handed weapon does. Um, put those in there. It strikes a lot faster, and it's effing ridiculously strong. Take that. Okay. And doesn't have... It doesn't need magic, so you don't need soul gems to, to recharge it. Which is fantastical. Okay, Azure Star. Let's... There it is. Visit the Shrine of Azure. Well... late level character, um, if you've got, you know, if you are trying to level up your, your two-handed, um, it's quite a strong weapon for that, um, it may not, its base damage may not be fantastic, but the fact that it can heal you makes you pretty much invincible, and the more, the more allies that you kill, um, with that, blade, the stronger the blade gets. So the more it starts to drain. Die. 
my bear. Ow. 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 <laughs> Another one. I'm purposely not blocking because I want to get my heavy armor up. Well, actually I am blocking. But there are some times when I'm purposely not blocking because I'm trying to get my heavy armor to level up faster. Um, because then I can put on that perk. Nice through the arm. Because then I've got that perk that can... Did it work? Haha! -ha. It works now. What the hell? First word, power learn, the essence of soul terror. Commanding the will of the fallen. What the hell? What? What? There's my dragon. What's come on, come on, dragon. Kill him, kill him, dragon. Dragon, where are you? What good are you? There you are. Stupid wolf. Aha, uh -huh, I have a dragon. I have a dragon. I have a dragon. There he is. Flying around. That's really not all that impressive that I can call out a dragon because I can do that after I beat the game, but without beating the game, that's pretty impressive. Although I don't know where he is right now. Come on, bear. And we're way off from that shrine. I don't even know who you're tracking, Sarah. Uh, there's my dragon still. He'll disappear, I guess. I don't know, I guess he stays out for like 300 seconds or something. So as long as it takes for the cool, for the shout to cool down is how long he stays out. I guess. I don't know, I've never used him before. Let's go get this word of power. Oh, it's going to be a dragon fight. Neat. Well, well, they're duking it out over there in the skies. We're not duking it out in the skies. 
I guess they're not duking it out in this guys. That's okay, I'll call my dragon in again. Oh shit shit. Well, it's a good thing I'm not a <laughs> It's a pretty good thing that I'm not a vampire anymore than I guess, huh? Another word for ice. professionally hunt dragons. Let's go. Uh, if I wasn't clipping... Yep, time to heal. Give me your soul too. And your bones. Thank you. And let me summon my own dragon. I really wish I knew what that did. <laughs> Random alchemy lab. I'll let him fly around for a little bit longer. Hmm, I can't run or jump. My keys are not working here. I am I am not able to run or jump. Am I over encumbered? No, I'm not over encumbered. I just can't run or jump. Now I can run and jump. Glitches. Very, very odd glitches. Very, very odd. Ooh, a dragon priest. Let's take out one of these guys. Oh, wait, no, it's not a dragon priest, it's just a skeleton. What the hell? Don't look like I'm afraid of you. Some dwarven arrows, though, that's pretty nice. Oh, I can't. There's Azura's shrine. As we get closer. As we get closer, we absorb. Let me. As we slowly walk.
Azura has seen your coming, Chaga. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you. Do 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 do. Seen my coming, Azura whatever. Azura has given me the gift of foresight. I had a vision of you walking up the steps to this altar. So this is a powerful artifact too, because the white star or azure star can capture black and white souls if you do it correctly. It is cryptic, I know, but as the rest of signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may be birth to winter. Ask Dana to tell the name Chandra. Okay. The black star, start that. Fast travel there. indoors or in a cave. And then she'll talk about how much she hates caves in a minute as soon as we see one. Uh -oh. Didn't do anything. You. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it This. This is why people have a problem with your calling it. Dagor and I, who sent you? Was it the college? The Yarrow? We agreed that you're working with the Daedra? Right. Now, Chefcom, what do you know about so many gems? They are, except the gems. Azura's stuff. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was... Malin was... It drove... Da, 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 da. But don't take it back to Azura. So there's... He's got this staff down here, which sells for a ton of money. Oh my god, that staff sells for so much money. Nothing, I'm leaving. Shut up. That staff sells for so much money, it's ridiculous. Um, now we gotta fast travel all the way over here to this, uh, yeah, to that. And off we go! Ow, ow. Ah, that didn't actually hurt that bad. But yeah, now that I've got that water breathing, I can just swim underwater the entire way there. I dislike how there's not a, an oxygen meter this time around. Underwater escapades. I'm sure there's some some neat uh, bugs or not bugs. Um, some neat little just gimmicks hidden underwater somewhere. But unless you have some way to breathe underwater, you aren't going to find them very easily. But fortunately for us, we have a way to breathe underwater, so we can just swim underwater, nice and nice and neat like underwater, past these big stones. 
around these mountains underwater to the underwater rocks further further through the underwater rock water until we get to the edge of the lake well, mostly the edge of the lake there is the tower that we're looking for half submerged underwater there's actually no way into the tower from underwater so don't try it you have to simply go this way down here Ta-da! Into the semi-submerged tower that is going to be full of necromancers. Just, just be prepared for that. Uh, let's try Soul Terror. I really want to see how this works. I'm glad you're here with me. Oh, that's so romantic. And now you don't like the look of it. No, so that didn't do much of anything. Oh, the necromancers keep bringing each other back. Why can't I shout? What the heck does that shout even do? Does anybody know? Does anybody know if you can restore these soul gem fragments either? Or am I just picking them up to waste space? <sighs> Carrying too much stuff. Again. Well, we'll give you the ebony blade. What now? This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. That's absolutely what it is, Serana. You can hold on to that. Because you probably aren't gonna die. And even if you do die, I can just pick it up off your dead corpse. Creepy. Creepy to say that, at least. I don't know what that does. I've contracted rock joint. Okay, that I'll take care of rock joint. Ooh, a master necromancer. Impressive. Can I summon my dragon in here? No, I cannot. I didn't think I could, but... Come on, all you guys. Somebody give me a challenge. Come on. Somebody that's not Serana give me a challenge. She keeps hitting me. You guys are, this is such a weak dungeon. You can't even hurt me with those spells. I could just stand here and watch you keep trying them on me. But it's not going to do anything.
you cannot hurt me against my... Oh, maybe you can. Perhaps I should better let Serana get in this fight, too. She can use that shield to protect against shocks. Activate door bar, open up wooden door. We're on the top level of this, which you couldn't previously get to because it's a wait, yes you could. Whatever. Anyways, if you don't have the quest, there will be boulders here. And you can't won't be able to get to this door. Also, if you start this quest and boulders appear there, um, reload your save file. That'll take care of it. You guys can't hurt me. I am a tank walking up to you. Apparently, if you do a concentrate, concentrated strike, you can kill me. Ugh. As Serana revives the other guy. Doors of Oblivion. After this quest, you'll probably have more soul gems than you really possibly need. Actually, yeah, after this quest, you'll have more soul gems than you ever will need, because Azure Star is the only soul gem you need. Like, ever. Um, I now know Bound Sword and Conjure Flame Agent Arc. That would be helpful when I'm trying to get my Conjuration skill up. Oh, there we go. There's a stronger Necromancer. Sorry, Serana, didn't mean to hit you. Oh, an ascending necromancer, eh? Is that right? You weren't that strong. Sorry, buddy. Little black soldier. You couldn't even cast simple spells, you had to use a staff to do it. <sighs> Azure Star. There's that guy. He tried to put his soul in Azure Star and it didn't work very well. 
take that because I don't really know what that book is. Or I won't take that because I don't care about that book. Or that book. Mm, I will keep that one though. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. Okay. Now, on to finish that quest. Either bring it to Azure or take it back to that guy. Um, if you bring it to Azure, you will only have a white soul gem, so you can only capture the souls of creatures. Um, if you take it to this dude, um, then you'll have a black soul gem, which can also be a white soul gem. So, um, I recommend taking it to this guy, because then you have a soul gem that can not only capture creatures' souls, but human souls as well. As creepy as it sounds saying that.